So I've been looking for a filter for this FT817 since I bought it because it was advertised to have no filter in it. And there, I have to say there are a ton of filters out there that look like the right thing for an FT817, but they may not be. So the first thing you have to do is take the cover off. There are seven screws and uh, I marked them here. Let me move them out of the way, but there are two kinds. There are uh, countersunk and there are machine screws. You can see the difference. And on the little diagram there I've marked, I put them up in a plastic bucket. I marked that there are machine screw in the very back edge, uh, countersunk screws on the back side, and then machine screws on the side here on the strap bracket. I only had to take off one and then loosen the bottom one. And then the top cover pulls off. And you have to be careful not to rip out the speaker. So we'll lay it over on the side. And the important bit is that the filter you need to buy is 5.5 centimeters by 1.4 centimeters. And the reason I say that's important is because online, this looked like the right thing, but it certainly is not. Because when you put it up next to this, not only is it the wrong size, you can see four pins, four pins. But on the correct filter, it's four pins and three pins. Or you can see here, four pins on the right, three pins on the left. So even though this is a Con uh, Collins mechanical filter and it's the narrow CW filter, I'll have to get a different carrier board before I can hopefully move this over. And then uh, I'll show you something else, which I think is probably true. So they're easy to pull out. You just lift up straight. And the interesting bit is I think the filter element you can see that really they're just three pins to uh, to mount the filter to the board that's here, here, and here. So I think this filter board that's currently in the radio I have is set up for the smaller filter also, here, here, and here. So <clears throat> if worse comes to worse, I may just move this CW filter onto this carrier board and put it back in my FT817. But the surprise of the day was the fact that this radio had a filter in it and it is the uh, XF119SN, which is the 2.3 kilohertz sideband filter. And uh, the interesting thing is it was turned off. So if you go into menu 38 called the optional filter, it was set to off. And when you turn it on, even with this 2.3 kilohertz filter in there, it, it does improve things. So if I, if I turn on that option, you can see optional CW filter and you change that with the tuning knob. So I'll turn it up and there's a CW station here. So there's it set to C SSB. There's it set to CW. And here's it set to off. So I'm gonna leave it set to CW and then push the function button. Then if I tap it once, you turn it off and on with this IPO attenuator and narrow. And here it is with it off. So you can tell, even though this is a sideband filter, it does narrow up the signal quite a lot. So I may or may not put the more narrow filter in this 817, because it's probably usable for all but a contest. So that's my update for you. If I swap this, I'll build another video and tell you whether the swap worked. The one thing is I think there are programming resistors on these filters. So if I do swap only the element, it might show up still in the menu as the wrong kind of filter but that may or may not matter so we'll see anyway thanks for watching i got a filter out of the last deal so i'm pretty happy about the 817 coming with a filter in it see ya